All right, guys. Um, so we went to Plant Exchange, and I'm gonna go over the things that I got stuff when we were there at the Plant Exchange. And if you want to see the things that Nicole got, this is my bestie. If you don't know people that's new to the channel, this is my bestie. We met um, on YouTube, and uh, so anyway, her name is Nicole Smith Gardening Channel. So go and check it out so you can see all the things that she got as well from the plant exchange. So I'm going to show you my part. Okay. And I was excited the things I've got. So here, this is Cuban oregano. And it smells amazing. I've never had Cuban oregano. So this is going to be very interesting. And how you say you plant it? You just stick it in the ground and it roots at all these little nodes. All the little nodes mm -hmm. things. Okay, smells amazing. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so then I know y'all know this is a strawberry plant, and yes, I do have strawberries, but this is an ever bearing strawberry, and all the ones that I bought from the big box store fried in the sun. The Texas sun cooked it, so <laughs> I didn't have no more of the ever bearing. And this one has some runners already coming off of it. So uh, I'm excited to put it in there. And she said she had hers in straight direct sun. So it is adjusted to Texas heat. Okay, I'm going to bring that one over there. And this, I've heard of it. I've never had any of it. But this is the mother of thousands. And do you have mother of thousands? I, I either have mother of thousands or mother of millions. I got one of those. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is Mother of Thousand. It has roots already. Look at that. Oh, yeah. At the that's top nice. and everything. So, that's, that's yeah. That's nice. Mother mm -hmm. of Thousands. Y'all see that? It has, like, um teeth, like, saw kind of sharpie teeth on there. Mm -hmm. I wonder, did it get sharper than this or spiky? I don't think so. Okay. Looks prehistoric, though, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That's going to be cool. I'm going to put that in a pot. Put that up there. And then, oh my goodness, I was excited about this. Y'all, it was sitting there on the table and it was just like glowing. I kept looking at it and I was thinking, what can I try? Because, you know, I came with my girl and she had all the goods. And I, I didn't come with nothing because I was like, <laughs> I'm just going to check it out in the vlog. And then I seen this and I was like, oh, what is she going to trade it for? You know, will she trade it with, you know? But this is Bix. This is a Bix plant. Now, it's supposed to stay indoors. It doesn't like the heat or anything. Uh, it smells like Bix. It just... Mm. Mm, it does. And it kind of remind me a lot of the apple mint. It has that aromatherapy kind of thing. So, um, yeah, it's a Bix plant. All right, and then what is this? I forgot what this is. Mm. Lantana. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is it the lantana? Mm -hmm. Okay, the ham and eggs one. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So this has three. Well, it's two cuttings in there. This is a lantana, which my lantana died and did <laughs> not come back. And it's supposed to came back. It came back once. And the second time it died, it, it did not rise again. Mm -hmm. So, and I had a yellow one. It was beautiful. This one is going to be pink and yellow, which is also called like ham and eggs. I'll grab a flower. I'll yes. show you. Okay, cool. She's so going to show y'all example. But I am definitely going to take care of this wonderful lantana. Uh, it looks really good and healthy. I see a lot of little roots along the whole stem of this thing. So I probably can um, plant it pretty deep but yeah this is the ham and eggs lantana it's just pink and yellow flower there we go ham That's and what eggs it looks like. look at that breakfast breakfast mm -hmm. beautiful okay then oh, yeah. oh let me show this first this is tabasco peppers now it was said that it was ghost peppers but 
you know, us gardeners, we know that this this is not to ghost peppers. <laughs> ghost peppers look crinkly and ugly, and it's like, do I want to eat you? You know, that kind of thing. These are really smooth, and um, you put these in, what, you put them in vinegar? Uh, you can ferment them in water, you can put them in vinegar. Yeah, you just put them in a jar, wash them, put them in a jar with some vinegar, let it sit there, and then you, it's like a uh, hot pepper sauce. Right? Okay. So we got some of that. Got to show y'all. I got two last ones that I'm excited about. Okay? First, this one. This is called coxcomb. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. <laughs> but let me show you why it's called that. And this is not rated R, so don't worry. Don't worry. Your kids can watch this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. <gasps> Doesn't it look like a top of a rooster's cone? Look at that. And so, and it kind of looks like the pompous bloom. It looks like the ones I have too, yeah. Yeah, but she said it's like that, but then it forms this big old mm -hmm. coral mm -hmm. kind of um, coral reef kind of shape on there. Mm -hmm. All along here, all of this is seeds along here. You see billions, that? billions of seeds. I mean, I'm going to have I'm going to have coxcomb. <laughs> I have that. so much coxcomb. I'm, I'm going to have cox everywhere. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> this is such a beautiful color. I love that. It, it's just it's pretty. It is. Mm -hmm. So, I was excited when uh, she let me have this. I was like, Go ahead and drop some of those seeds in my yes, garden for you. Yes, man. yes. Because <laughs> mm -hmm, it's something all in the bag, too. So, yes. We Sharing have... is caring. Yes. And, okay. So, uh, we met this lovely lady. This kiddo. Um, and she will be starting her nursery in Tarkenton, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And we're going to check out her nursery when she gets together. But she was going around with her little... Um, uh, uh, cart showing you know different things and one of the things she said and I was like when I went over to her table it was still there and I can't believe it was still there so I'm gonna say the name of this and tell me if you've heard of this before let me know in the comments you don't okay holy chocolate get it get it slap it's it under. okay hold on where is ah, it wait, wait 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 just pop it Sorry, go ahead. Um, it is holy chocolate bubblegum basil. Say that three times. Fast. Wild. That's wild. I've never heard of it. Never heard and of it. And we were like, what? That's not real. What? We looked it up. At, yeah, oh. the thing is real. From India, if you get the seeds, they only like 250 for a pack of 50 seeds or something. Yes. So, now it does smell like holy basil mm -hmm. with a little kind of chocolate yeah it's different yeah it's chocolate it's a holy basil but different i do smell some chocolate so yeah. that is it's different yeah so uh i didn't believe it i, I can only imagine what this tea is gonna taste like mm -hmm. that's gonna be good uh we're gonna try to figure out how we're gonna split it can we split it off of here um yeah we'll just take a little you know because it got little a, roots a couple little branches i could root it in water I don't even have to take the woody part. I'll just take a couple oh, of these. Oh, yeah, because it will, because all of those little hairs mm -hmm. all along there. But, yeah, I was excited about that when I went to the table, and I was like, oh, it's still here. What is wrong with people? <laughs> I know they don't have this holy chocolate basil bubblegum whatever. All of that. Yeah. So, um, that is the end of the things that I uh, was able to get. I had an amazing time. Um, I wanted to mingle more, but we, you know, we're trying to get a feel of how things are. They are going to have another one in the spring, mm -hmm. so um, I'll definitely let you know in my um, yeah, I got you, girl. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know in my community tab when you know it's around that time, getting close to it, so you can get your stuff together and you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, how did you feel about it? 
I loved it. It was my first plant swap as well. I'd never been to one, so I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't sure what to bring. I kind of have a better idea what I want to bring uh, to the next one in the spring. I think I want to focus more on medicinal herbs. I think people will really be into that. Um, and people really liked the gara. I brought mm -hmm. a lot of my whirling butterflies gara, so I think I'm going to do some more of those cuttings. And because it's spring, I'm thinking, Cynthia, maybe we could bring some veggie starts. Yeah. I'm thinking people are I was just thinking of that. Tomato starts. Mm -hmm. um, Micro yeah. dwarfs, because a lot of people haven't heard of those. They'll be something niche, and maybe I can swap for something really big. So, I'm excited. I think that would be cool. I, I, I love gardening people. Talking to them, it's like a a total different language and it doesn't matter if you're introvert or extrovert it's just you all mingle in together because you don't have to like talk about each other you just talk about the plants some some focus on something else besides yourself so uh i enjoyed it yeah it was good yeah. i was a little worn out when we got back from all the talking <laughs> not a talker but she did good she said she don't talk but the girl was gone from her table for most of the time <laughs> Here she come back this smiling with other stuff. I'm like, well, aren't you social, ma'am? Because we were talking plants. It really is it's the plants. If, if if I was anywhere else, I'd want to go home. But we had the best time. Yeah. Um, the venue was a little tight for parking. It was at a park in yeah. Cleveland. So I don't know if they do it at the same place every time. But um, as soon as we have details on the spring event, we will be sharing them out with y'all. Definitely. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link down in the description the Cole's channel so you can go and see the plants that she was able to collect from this plant exchange. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do for you can be a part of CC's Texas Garden and find out all the things that I'm doing in my garden. Hit me with a like and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!